Well, good morning and welcome to more Breath of Fire 4. Uh, I haven't done anything off screen like I had planned to. I still need to do all the fishing. I still need to try and grind out those items. But I haven't had time and I need to record more. So we're just going to go forward and we're just going to go to Koshka, which apparently we can immediately go down to the Shan River. Let's go to Koshka first and see what's up here. Sup, buddy? Maybe I should try and find something I can sell myself. But if I went to the Enjo Ruins, I could find something. Well, I'll be... Y'all came here by ship? Yes? What do you guys have to say? I didn't, didn't know you don't have enough money. What? I've got lots of money. Hey there, stranger. Looking for something? Yeah, let's, let's take a look. I've got lots of money, dude. Okay. Alright. Um, so that's really good. It won't hit twice, but it's very, very light. Uh, okay. We found probably her best weapon. Uh, because she's very, very wisdom-based. Immediately going to get that. Uh, okay. Yeah, you don't need the warding staff anymore. Okay, Crusher will do a ton of damage and is only slightly more weighty. Noted. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and give you that. Flamethrower does a fire attack to all opponents and has the same effect as Fire Blast. Okay, if nothing else, because it has the same effect as Fire Blast, that makes it really good. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and equip it as well. All right, so Armored Vest resists ranged attacks and is light and has a lot of defense. The Blizzard Mail is strong versus wind and water, but weak versus fire and earth. It's also pretty light and just has a little bit more defense. I think I'd rather just go with the Armored Vest over the Blizzard Mail, frankly. And Vitamins and Ammonia. Okay, fair enough. Um, Alright, so I don't remember... I know I've got my girls equipped with... Okay, so you've got the Sage's Frock, which I remember being really, really, really good for you. And you've got the Robe of Wind, which I think increases your evasion, which I think is also really good. However, I do think I want to go ahead and equip this to three of my people, at the very least. I might also want to equip it to the girls, but I definitely want to give it to these two at the very least. Okay, uh, I think I do want to end up getting the Feather Sword, at least for Sias, probably for both of them, honestly. Um, although hitting twice with Ryu is quite nice. But yeah, I should probably just get it for both of them. Alright, haven't sold things in a while. We can sell the Quarterstaff. Uh, we can sell the Tagum. The Stunner, I think, is still better. The Toxic Claws can get sold. Battle Rod can get sold. Flail can get sold. Uh, don't need this anymore, because I've got a better version. Raptor Claws, we just got that as a drop. Warding Staff, I mean, protects against magical attacks. That's pretty cool. Maybe I'll keep it just in case. That is useful. Uh, the Stone Club, don't need that. Multi-gun, plus one hits, ranged, could be useful. Got a better version of this. I need to clean up this inventory a little bit here. Get them all actually situated. Alright, and that has the same effect as Sever. So this just resists water. I could see that being useful. Don't need that anymore. Uh, yes, dodge plus 5% versus wind attacks specifically. Honestly, I think the other the other equipment's going to be better than the Robe of Wind. Um, manly Clothes and Full Plate we can go ahead and sell all of. I could see the Wetsuit being useful. Um, Alright, so in that case, I think I do want to go ahead and just get the Armored Vest and give it to you. Okay. Um... 
I'm curious... Because I believe I remember Nina having something really, really good. Uh, oh, okay. Just increases her wisdom by an additional five points. Oh, uh, that is really good. Uh, however, I think the, like, plus ten defense increase, plus twenty defense increase is going to be better than the plus five to wisdom. Yeah, plus 10 defense, I think it's going to be better than plus 5 to wisdom. So I think we're just going to go ahead and do that. I can also buy a Sage's Frock anytime else I want one. Although, I guess I don't really need one. I just need to make sure I don't sell it. Uh, I think I can also buy Robe of Wind if I ever want one back as well. So I'm not that concerned about it. And last but not least, let's get two Feather Swords. Because uh, I do think the plus 30 to my attack stat is going to be better than hitting twice. Um, there we go. All right. Okay. Well, there went all my money. Good thing I had a bunch. All right, what else do we see in this town? A while back, this merchant came through, said he was looking for, what did he say? Rare and unique goods. Ever since then, all the men here got in their heads to sell things, thinking themselves merchants. Interesting. This year's Kashka. We don't get that many visitors, but when we do, I let them stay at my place. No, I'm good. I don't need to sleep here, thank you. Uh, alright. This is a tiny little place, I guess. What is this for? Apparently nothing. Apparently nothing. Okay. Um... Is there anything else to do here? Doesn't seem like it. Just had some really good stuff to sell. Fair enough, I guess. Alright, well, we'll head towards the Sean River. I will go ahead and stop in here just to see what's going on. Uh, this doesn't look like the kind of place that's going to give me a sign or anything for a new fishing spot. Although, it might have uh, some new enemies that we could fight, so... Let's get into an encounter and see what they've got. If anything. Well, obviously they'll have something, but... Oh, okay. Sporeon. Sometimes releases spore in, or spores into the air when struck. Alright. Um, you know what we haven't done? Uh, let's go into Behemoth, and you two just guard for a minute here. So we haven't tried using the, uh, Earth Dragon Magic special move, uh, which I believe is, let's see, it would be Earth, then Fire. Fire, then... Yeah, I think it would be... I have to get them straight in my head here. Uh, what would it be? Okay, so spores just does poison. Noted. Okay, fair enough. Alright, I'm gonna look it up real quick. Uh, okay, so yes, Earth, then Fire, then... No, wait, that's... Fireman? No, that is... Alright. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. That's not what I want at all. How did you do that? Uh, okay, special. So, we can take a look at my various different things here. We do have Searing Sand, which I can still teach. Uh, level 1 Earth Magic, level 2 Earth Magic. Oh, you don't have level 3 Earth Magic in this form. Okay, well, I can't do the thing anyway. But, I can learn Searing Sand, I think, on some of my friendos here. So, let's start hitting people with Searing Sand. Uh, Cray can guard. And I guess Sias can guard. And we'll see if we can learn... Yes, we can absolutely learn Searing Sand. Sweet. 
Well, that's a fun attack. And I am interested to see, because it definitely looks like Ryu's Behemoth has different moves than uh, Fulu's Behemoth did. So I will be interested to see if the breath attack that comes from Ryu is different as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm not that worried about the poison. It goes away after battle, I'm pretty sure. Alright, so let's just try and learn this move. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So now that I've learned this move, I'll just use some dragon combos on these guys. Sias so learned Searing Sand. Cool. And that's just an earth-based uh, punch, basically. All right, so let's see what else we've got here. It doesn't look like much. Okay, and he does still just have Meteor Strike, which I think is just going to be some pretty standard stuff. Uh, I guess do a Rock Blast and... Let's see, Ice Blast still only hits one opponent. In fact, I don't think you have anything that will hit multiple opponents. Oh, interesting, he can't use Washout. Why not? Is it because I'm in Dragon Form? That doesn't make sense, though. Weird, I don't know, I don't know what's up with that, actually. But we'll just do a Meteor Strike, see if it's the same animation. And we have now encountered a... Well, it's the same dude, so I think it is going to be the same animation. Interesting that, like, all of Fulu... So, the fact that both Fulu and Ryu get exactly this dude is... strange. Because they've both always gotten variations on each other's skills, uh, or dragon transformations, when it comes to all of their other transformations. Um, and in the case of the Leviathan, Ryu didn't get that at all. And in the case of Weir, uh, Fulu didn't get that at all. So it's just kind of interesting. I should probably also go ahead and revert form. And you guys can just do some punches, I guess. Uh, theoretically, both Urshan and Nina can attack from the back row. It just doesn't happen very often. But, alright. That that was a thing, I guess. We got some antidotes. Okay, so we know we can they can drop antidotes. Fair enough. Well, I don't think we need to spin... Oh, I am still poisoned. I think if I camp, I can get rid of that, though. So, let's just camp real quick here. Camp will not restore, uh, like, the s dragon summons. Uh, like, if I use the wind dragon's uh, breath attack that he gave me for meeting him, uh, it will not... Resting at camp won't restore that. I have to rest at a add an actual in to do that, but otherwise resting works perfectly fine to do everything that going to an inn would do. All right, well, j let's just go to the Sean River, see what's up. All right, so we've got switches, which move these things. Okay, fair enough. I was expecting, I don't know, maybe another river ride or something? Lizard Man. Specializes in group attacks and can use shield on allies. Alright, fair enough. Um, let's see, so here's, here's a thought. Let's have Ursula go ahead and pop this guy. And then Ryu can't attack. And I'll have Sias attack as well. I think Urshan still has the homing bomb in, so he doesn't miss. Yeah, that'll do a lot of damage. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay. So those three can do some pretty good damage working together. All right, Cray up to level 27. Oh, that's right. I switched him to being trained by Khan. So his agility, power, and HP all go up, but his AP and wisdom do not. And that's kind of okay. Because, uh, let's face it, wisdom is just not Cray's thing. And these guys can drop bucklers, so that's neat, I guess. Uh, there we go. The gondola moves while pressing while X is pressed and stops when it's released. Avoid the logs and move the gondola forward. You can jump onto a log by moving the gondola close to it. Interesting. Okay. I don't see any logs, though. Or I guess maybe that one's just for getting used to things. All right, well, I want to get over there. But I don't see the way to do that yet. Where are these logs that I can apparently jump to? Alright. Um, hmm. So there's still a whole bunch in that little area for me to do, but maybe I have to do something else further ahead to be able to trigger that kind of stuff. I don't know. So I want... There's a lot of items that I'm missing out on that I would really like to get. I can walk up here. I also haven't found a new dragon in a while. Oh, well, there's the spore man. Oh, okay, so these guys drop... Can do a rare drop for the Ferengi, which is something that I had to fish for. So if you fish for them, you can just get the Ferengi early. But at this point, I've already replaced it. So it doesn't look like these guys drop anything new to me. Uh, so we'll just have Ursula attack, Ryu attack. Actually, no. Ryu attack the Sporeon. And, well, actually, no. Here's what we'll do. Uh, we'll go ahead and have, we'll do our Thunder combo. So, ooh, I could use Typhoon as well. Haven't used that before. Let's do that. Uh, and then into Icicle. And just to finish things off, attack all opponents. Cool. And these guys are all really quick. So there's a good chance that we'll be able to go first, no matter what. Okay, so we had seen that animation before. The, uh, the wizards had used it against us before. Alright, so that doesn't quite take everyone out, but... Ah, oh, she missed. Darn. Wind Strike? Okay, that's new. That is something new that we can learn. So, uh, in that case, we're gonna have Ryu go ahead and finish that guy off. Um, and we'll have Ursula guard, I think. And Cray Guard. Why not? We'll see if Ursula or Cray can learn that wind strike. Alright, so he's got Vitalize. It's not gonna do much for him. Uh go ahead and actually just snooze. And then you two guard again. And then I'll move Nina in here and have her do a rest to restore her AP. Hey, cool, we got the wind strike. Cool. I think we now have all the different elemental strikes that we can get. Um, there might be one or two more that I'm not thinking of right now, but I think we've gotten them all. Uh, all right, cool. So, you know, Urshan, what do you have equipped? Yeah, you do have the homing bomb equipped. Let's put you back on the stunner so you actually do a little bit more damage. And go ahead and have you attack. I don't remember what, who I have you at... Or, I don't remember who I have as your master right now. So maybe I gave you the homing thing so that you hit things better. Uh, but I think I can change your master... Well, actually, this will help, tell me. So, AP and wisdom go up, defense goes down. 
Um, okay, so it's not Una. I know that for sure. This is probably fine. Uh, Urshan gets really good magic. Okay, cool. You know what? Let's do a little bit of flyby so I can see what's up here. Okay, so I can go around to the right and I can go up. Each way leads to treasure. Going down is what will lead me to progression. So, we'll get a thousand zenny. We like that. And we'll get some titan boots. Heck yeah. I believe that is a... That's an accessory that you can equip that increases strength. Uh, physical attack, specifically. Um, so that's, that's neat. What do we got here? Oh, just you guys again. Okay, well, I believe we already know how to deal with you, so... We'll just bring in Ryu and Saez to punch you, and as long as Ursula hits you, you will die. Don't you counterattack me. Okay, well, Saez is just gonna take him out in one shot. That works, too. Fair enough. Get some pretty good experience on those guys, too. I don't know if I could up their experience by, like, hitting them with wind or something. Although, no, I tried that. I did hit them with wind. It didn't do anything. Uh, oh, okay. So I can't go over that way. But I can get on this. And there's the logs. Okay. So... What happens if I just go across? Leads me across, fair enough. Um, so, if I want to... Get on to something here... Did the logs not come back? I might have to... There we go! Okay, so that's how I get on the logs. Which will just... Drop me onto here. Neat. Okay, got the Earth Ward. I think I already have one of those, but sure. And then, yeah, I would assume that there wouldn't be any logs or anything to ride there. And this drops me back at the entrance, I think. Yep, so now I'm back at the entrance. Okay, cool. Well, fair enough. Uh, in that case, I will just skip things forward a bit until I get back to where I was. Ooh, okay, we got a new enemy. Uh, crates and can absorb wind and water magical attacks. Okay, the generator. Fair enough. So you want to use earth and fire magic on this guy specifically. Alternatively, we can just punch him. Uh, <laughs> so we'll bring in Ursula, and we'll bring in Sias because he's a little bit faster than Cray. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay, and he's also really weak to fire, too. That did Ursula's hit did, like, twice as much damage on that guy as it does on everyone else. So that's pretty cool. And I think my heat just kicked on, which hopefully is not coming through the mic. I know it was doing so earlier. Yeah, a little bit. I'm going to go turn that off. Okay, no heat for me. I wonder if going to sleep gets rid of the poison. I don't actually know. But we're going to try it. See what happens. Or will I just be poisoned and asleep? Looks like I'm just poisoned and asleep. Which is fair. Uh, but I was curious. Cool. Well, we took him out. Alright, I will need to cure that poison, but I've got multiple people who can do that, and I still need to get across back to where I was. Alright, so we're back on this guy, and what I want to do is run into the second log that comes down. This guy right here. So I want to do that. There we go. Yeah, in order to get onto these logs, they need to be in front of you, so you don't want them to hit you on the side. Uh, you want to have them in front of you, and you want to run the... F you want to hold X while they're in front of you so that you run the front of your dude, uh, well, into them. 
Okay, so I think this is a good time to do a rock blast. Yes, this is the correct combination. Rock blast into a flame pillar. Uh, that should take out the one dude. And then we will just follow that up with a cyclone. Which won't hurt the other guy, so I'm... Or the generator, I should say. So I think it should get taken out by Ragnarok here. Uh, hopefully it does. If it doesn't, then I think I'm going to end up healing it. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, yeah, that, that took everybody out, so no problem. I really wish I had an AP restoring move for Ursula as well, because she's kind of the other person I use magic with. But whatever. Not that big a deal. Okay, well, that was just some Aurum, so that's cool. Uh, Alright, so I can call... I can jump across here and take this boat down. Where does this take me? Oh. It just... Okay. Well, it takes me directly back to the entrance again. Fair enough. Alright. I know the episode's going a little bit long at this point, but uh, I'm just going to cut ahead again to uh, being back where we were again, because I am not sure if we're cl really close to being out of this place or not. I get the feeling we probably are. Okay, so we're back over here again, and this time I do just want to avoid all of the logs and just go straight across. Let's not hit that log. There we go. And we'll just go straight across. Now, does this take me to the exit? I think it did. Indeed it did. Okay. So now I can get to... Chiqua? I don't know. Uh, but we'll go explore that place in our next episode. Uh, and I think we're going to call things here for today uh so wow i it's been too long i've forgotten how to do these outros not that i was ever good at them to begin with thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time as we go explore chikwa